So, uh, Prime Minister Garibashvili, Deir Irakli, welcome. It's great to see you again. Uh, welcome back to the NATO headquarters. It is uh, good to have you here. Georgia is one of NATO's uh, closest partners and uh, allies fully supports uh, Georgia's sovereignty and uh, territorial integrity. We continue to call on Russia to reverse the recognition of uh, Georgian territories as independent states. Today, uh, in our meeting, we will uh, talk about uh, the NATO-Georgia partnership and how we can further strengthen our partnership, in particular through the substantial NATO-Georgia package. I welcome uh, Georgia's Euro-Atlantic aspirations, and you can count on NATO's continued political and practical support. In turn, I count uh, on Georgia to redouble efforts uh, on domestic reforms and uphold democratic standards. That is why I welcomed the, the decision to withdraw the draft law on foreign influence, which was incompatible with Euro-Atlantic values and the protection of fundamental freedoms. The Georgian people have made clear that they want a democratic, prosperous country integrated into the Euro-Atlantic region. NATO will continue to be your partner as you work towards uh, fulfilling uh, these aspirations. Today, we will also talk about Russia's war of aggression and the importance of standing by Ukraine. Last week, I was in Kiev. My message to President Zelensky was clear. NATO stands with Ukraine today and for as long as it takes. We do not know when the war will end, but we know that Russian aggression is a toxic pattern that must be stopped once and for all. Georgia and the Georgian people understand this very well. Ukraine is upholding its right to self-defense under the UN Charter, and we expect all NATO partners to support this aim. So, Prime Minister, welcome once again. I look forward to our discussions, please. Thank you very much, dear Secretary General. Let me first of all thank you for this opportunity to meet and have a discussion on the busy agenda of our bilateral cooperation, especially in today's turbulent security environment, the war in Ukraine, which is a huge challenge for us, for the entire European security architecture, for Georgia, for our region. Uh, plus, Georgia has its own problem with Russia, the ongoing occupation. Uh, so therefore, I'm grateful for this meeting, and I also want to thank you for your personal dedication and leadership throughout the years to make NATO more united and strong in, adva in advancing cooperation with partners. Let me also express our strong appreciation for ally support of Georgia's Euro-Atlantic aspirations, as well as unwavering support for Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity within its internationally recognized borders. As one of the most reliable and capable partner of the alliance, Georgia has a track record of active participation in NATO missions and operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Our strong contribution to the common Euro-Atlantic peace and security is well known. And Georgia's Euro-Atlantic aspiration remains our top foreign policy priority. I also want to mention that we have achieved a significant progress during the last 10 years. We signed the association agreement with the European Union, free trade agreement with the European Union. We got the visa-free regime, and we, last year we received European First Perspective, which is a historic decision. And now we're working actively on the uh, implementation of so-called 12 priorities which we'll finalize soon, and we are confident that Georgia deserve, deserves uh, the candidate status. Uh, and I also want to mention that I was privileged to open a joint training center, NATO-Georgia joint training center, together with you, back in 2015, which is a very uh, clear example of our successful cooperation. And since then, this center has been operating very successfully, so I, I also want to thank you for this. So we stand ready to deepen our political dialogue and practical cooperation with NATO in all dimensions. Once again, thank you. I look forward to our discussion.
Thank you, sir.